Hey, Belek, how are you doing? Good, what about you? I'm awesome. I'm excited to speak to you. Me too. So tell me about yourself. Uh, okay, my name is Belek and I'm located in Brno, Czech Republic. And I'm a student at Brno University of Technology and currently uh, working as Salesforce admin in, at, at Avast. Awesome. Uh, it's amazing that you're a Salesforce admin at one of the leading Czech IT firms. I'm sure everyone knows Avast, especially if you are a PC user. It's one of the leading uh, antivirus software providers in the world. Belek, uh, now that you're a Salesforce admin, what is your next goal? So my next goal is being Salesforce developer, and I'm very interested to be uh, to get a platform developer one certification. Bilek, you're a Salesforce admin now. Uh, why would you like to become a developer? I have become comfortable with admin knowledge, and I would like to tackle more complex Salesforce problems. And I would like to grow as Salesforce professional and earn more. Okay, great. Those are similar reasons why I want to become a developer as well. And I'm sure those are similar reasons why many people want to become developers. But like, what questions do you have for me? So I have uh, around 10, 11 questions for you in three categories. So first category is what are prerequisites for P1? I suggest that anyone who wants to sit for the platform developer one certification know the Salesforce admin material really well. Yeah, someone like you who is working as a Salesforce admin, who has a Salesforce admin and build certifications, you'll be a good candidate to start studying for the platform developer one certification. Okay, okay. So, as we know, uh, Java, uh, Apex is very is similar to Java. And uh, should I start to study with Java or HTML and CSS, or is it better to start right away with Apex and Visual Force? I had a similar question when I was preparing for the Platform Developer One certification. I studied Java, I read some Java books. I think I lost a lot of time on that. Right now there is a lot of good material that teaches you Apex. I would suggest that you just go ahead and start with Apex. Otherwise there are certain things in Java that we don't use in Apex and it might confuse you. Yes, like hash codes, array lists, yeah, we don't have that in Apex. So it's to keep things simple, just study Apex. And there are a lot of good resources out there that teach you Apex. Got it, got it. So my third question is, what are the key topics of Apex I should focus on for the exam? Yep, uh, I suggest you focus on the topics that are listed on the Platform Developer One Certification Exam Guide. Yeah, those are mm -hmm. Apex, uh, debugging, testing, and Visual Force. Great, thank you. So my next set of questions is how to prepare for PD1. And first question of this set is how many hours in total should I study to pass the Platform Developer 1 exam? I, I estimate that you need to spend about 100 hours. Okay. Um, you need to spend about a six hours uh, learning the material on the exam and uh, about 15 hours to practice for the actual exam you have to do a lot of practice exam questions mm -hmm. okay and next question is what are the best comprehensive resources to prepare for the exam i would suggest everyone start with Deepika Hanas. Uh, Apex for Beginners course on Udemy, it costs about $10 and it goes for about 14 hours. It's a very good course. I recommend it to my, to my students and they loved it. Yeah, it's very good step-by-step -step course that teaches about development to absolute beginners. Next, I suggest you check out Apex Academy on Pluralsight by David Liu. It's about six hours. Also reviews the Apex basics step-by-step. Those are two resources that I suggest everyone uses. Deepika Hanas, course on Udemy, and David Lu's Apex Academy on 
plural site. Make sure to study that. Make sure you get the basics right before you get into the more advanced topics. Okay, it's very important that you know the ABC before you start writing sentences, before you start building words. Next, I suggest Valid El Khor's course on Udemy. He has a very nice course about preparing for Platform Developer One certification. It's about $10 and it takes about 16 hours to complete that course. And once you've completed all this, three courses, I suggest you do practice questions. You can find a lot of practice questions online, do them, try to understand what are the right answers, why the other answers are incorrect, and you should, uh, you should budget about 20, 30 hours for these questions. Um, when I completed Deep Kahana's course, I realized that I need more Epic's practice exercises. Can you tell me where to get exercises for practicing Epic skills? Because usually when I Google for it, I always find exercises that are too difficult for me. Yeah, that's a very good question because it's important that you put your knowledge to practice, that you tackle real business-like scenarios, that you mm -hmm. solve business-like scenarios using Apex skills. And that it's important that the exercise uh, start out as very simple and gradually build up so that you build up your confidence, you build up your skills. For this purpose, I have prepared 40-day Apex exercises course, which start out from very simple exercises and they get in difficulty, they build up in difficulty. And on day 40, you'll be tackling exercises that are similar to technical interview questions at companies such as Google, Amazon, and Salesforce. And which actually I have collected from personally for sitting at interviews with these different companies. So this, these are actual interview questions that uh, candidates will see. So one, one thing you can do is check out my 40-day Apex exercise course so that you start out with simple exercises and tackle um, tackle them in uh, progressing difficulty. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Usually during learning, I often get stuck or confused. Can you tell me where can I find a mentor and answers to my questions? When you're learning Apex, it's very common that you will be stuck. A lot of things will not make sense for you. A lot of things will not make sense for you. You will not understand about methods, static versus non-static methods, uh, mm -hmm. words with sharing, what are objects, etc. A lot of things will be very confusing for you. And they will stop you from progressing. You might want to even give up sometimes because you don't know how to overcome this little bug. And if you don't fix this little bug, your code doesn't work. And that's very frustrating. I, I've been there. The important thing here is don't give up stay motivated and it would be really helpful if you can find a mentor someone you can turn to for help in these moments there are a couple of ways to get a technical mentor first way is uh, you can go on linkedin and reach out to some people for advice maybe some people in, in the same city as you and tell them that you're trying to become a salesforce developer and you're looking for someone who can who you can turn to for help occasionally be very nice to them uh, thank them for their time that's one way. Another way is to go on upwork.com. There you can find a lot of developers from around the world for a very good price, $20, $30 per hour. And you can reach out to them when you're stuck. Yeah, there is a lot you can accomplish in one hour of uh, discussion. There's a lot of questions you can get answered. So, so it's a very good investment of your money. The more problems you tackle, the more problems you overcome, the faster you'll be progressing in your career in your, your knowledge as a Salesforce developer, yeah? But don't always, don't turn to a mentor right away when you're stuck, yeah? Let yourself be stuck there for two, three hours. So did you struggle? Try different resources, try Googling, YouTubing. Do all your best, okay? Once you've exhausted all possible solutions, say after two, three hours, then turn to the mentor, yeah? Otherwise, if you always turn to the mentor, you will not be learning as much. Okay, so my next question is about methods, methods for learning to code. Uh, what can you suggest? What are the best methods? There are a couple of things you can do to accelerate your learning of Apex. Yeah. Uh, you, like myself, you did not study programming in university or in high school. We don't come from technical backgrounds, yeah? 
And so learning to code is not easy. But there are a couple of things we can do to accelerate this learning process. First thing you can do is make YouTube videos, document what you have learned. If you find out what is a method and what's the difference between a static method and one non-static method, make a YouTube video that explains this. Five minute YouTube video. It will be very helpful for you because it will really force you to understand this concept as you're making the video. And also, a lot of other people who also coming from non-technical backgrounds might find your video very helpful. Uh, second thing you can do is teach others. Teach your, your girlfriend, teach your friends uh, about what you've just learned. As you try to teach them, it will also force you to learn. And once you can teach them, that means you've mastered the topic. And the uh, third thing you can do is see if there are any ways you can use Apex at work. Okay, maybe there's a process builder. Maybe you can convert the process builder from, uh, maybe you can convert the process builder to Apex, uh, or you can convert the workflow to, to be in Apex. Maybe you have certain validation rules, maybe you can convert them to Apex as well. See if there are any opportunities for you to apply your Apex knowledge at work. That would be amazing. Okay. And so these are the three ways I suggest you use to accelerate your Apex learning. First is make YouTube videos. Second is teach your friends, family. Third is find application for Apex at work. Okay, okay, got it, got it. So learning to code is not easy. And sometimes I lose my motivation when I can't understand some topics. And how can I motivate myself to learn Apex daily? And how do you motivate yourself every day? It's very important that you study Apex daily. Mm -hmm. It's very important that you study daily, yeah? Not on weekends only. Uh, you have to study it daily. When you study something daily, you make tremendous progress. You don't even notice that you're making progress, but you are. You are, yeah. Have a routine. Every day when you wake up, Study Apex for 30 minutes. And when you come home, study Apex for two hours. Okay, do that every single day. Okay, daily progress beats everything. When you study every day, many topics will start making sense very quickly. Okay. And they will start becoming a habit. Writing an Apex class, writing an Apex method will become easier and easier. So first thing to do is just you have to do it, okay? There is no need for motivation, just every day have a routine, have, have an Apex study routine every day, morning, evening, morning, evening, okay? Create a Google Calendar event. From 7 to 7.30 a.m., you review. And then 6 to 8 p.m., again, you study. Okay. And, uh, and when you're stuck, don't, don't give up, okay? You will figure it out eventually. It's just a matter of question how fast you will figure it out. All right. Uh, there are a lot of good online resources you can turn to for help like uh, Salesforce Stack Exchange, Reddit, or you can go to your Salesforce mentor, mm -hmm. or your Google, you will figure it out. It's just a matter of time. And it's important that you enjoy this process of figuring it out, okay? Because in the process of figuring things out, you learn a lot. Okay, just give it time. Just give it time, don't panic. Some people panic when they're stuck. Okay, they feel like they're not progressing when they're stuck. They feel like things have to go fast, fast, fast. But it's not like that, yeah? Just give it time. Give it time, you'll figure it out. You'll understand it. And uh, just make sure to do it every single day. And, then, and very quickly, you become a pretty good junior Salesforce developer. Okay.
Got it. Got it. Okay. So my last question is: Once I got B one certification, what are the next steps? What should I do? Once you get the platform develop one certification, you should spend some time reviewing the topics that you've learned. Make sure to do the Apex forty day exercises. There you will put your knowledge about writing a trigger, writing in the class, writing a test class to practice. Mm -hmm. Okay, take some time. Take a couple of months to practice Apex. Okay, become very comfortable with it. And so you have become comfortable with Apex. You can start learning the Lightning Web Components and JavaScript. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good luck, Delek.